Hello, everyone. Today we will teach you how to make a module for filling in the birthday date automatically on the Bport website. Here, this module has been created before, and it can fill in the username, password and email address automatically. So, let's click on module button to check this result. See, this module runs successfully. Now, let's go back to today's main topic about how to fill in the birthday date automatically. Right click this node to add a control operate action, and it is to find the control that we need. Click select control button to get the control. Then click find HTML item button to check the result. The green shows this control has been found and then click Save. Here, we need to set own clip for it, and then click Save. Right click this node, and then select Test Run Action to check the result. Had a sleep action for this step, and it is to sleep the program for a while. Here. We will let it sleep 5 seconds, and then click Save. Add a variable operate action for this module. Click Variable Management button to add some variables. Input the variable name month. Select Store Variable option for it, and then click Add. Here, select the variable we added just now and then append the string for it. Copy the data we prepared before, and then paste it here. Click the test button to check the result, after got it, click save. Add a variable operate action for this module. Select the variable. And then use the delimiter comma to separate the data. Check this option, and here we need to add the variable to save the month variable. So, click variable management button. Input the variable name month variable. Select store variable option for it. Select table as the value type. Here. Only one column we needed. Select it and then name it month. After set all, click add. Now, select the variable we added. Select the column name. Select the way of storage for it, and then click save. Now, add a variable operate action. Here, select the variable month table, and then get value from it. Click set button to assign the value to it. Select random option to get the value from the table random leave. After set all, click save. Now, add a control operate action to get the specific month. Click Select Control button to get the control. Then click Find HTML item button to check the result. The green shows this control has been found. But only one item has been found. There are 12 items that are needed us to find. So, here we need to delete the suffix of the ID attribute. Select Rejects as the match type. And then click Find HTML Item button to check the result again. See, 12 items has been found. Here, we need to add an attribute for this variable. Click here, 
Then click Refresh button to search the result. Click Find HTML item button to get the result. Copy the attribute and its value, and then paste them here. Click Find HTML item button to check the result. See, we have got the result, and then click Save. Here, we need to set on click for it, and then click Save. Right click this node, and then select Test Run Action to check the result. Click the Control Operate Action. Here, we need to use variable for this attribute. So click Use Variable button to assign the variable to it. After set all, click Save. Now, let's have a test for these operations. See, all of these operations are correct. Now, add a sleep action to let the program loop for a while. Here, we also let it sleep 5 seconds, and then click Save. Add a Control Operate action, and it is to find the other control that we need. Click Select Control button to get the control. Then click Find HTML item button to check the result. The green shows this control has been found. Select one in item index, and then click Save. Add a variable operate action for this module. Click Variable Management button to add some variables. Input the variable name here. Select Store Variable option for it, and then click Add. Here, select the variable we added just now. And then append the string for it. Clear the data we added before, and then click Test button to have a check. See, it has been cleared. Now, copy the data we prepared before, and then paste it here. Click the Test button to check the result, after got it, click Save. Add a variable operate action for this module. Select the variable. And then use the delimiter comma to separate the data. Check this option, and here we need to add the variable to save the year variable. So, click Variable Management button. Input the variable name to your table. Select Store Variable option for it. Select Table as the value type. Here, only one column we needed. Select it and then name it year. After set all, click Add. Now, select the variable we added. Select the column name. Select the way of storage for it, and then click Save. Now, add a variable operate action. Here, select the variable your table and then get value from it. Click Set button to assign the value to it. Select Random option to get the value from the table Random Leave. After Set All, click Save. Now, add a Control Operate action to get the specific year. Click Select Control button to get the control. Then click Find HTML item button to check the result. The green shows this control has been found. But only one item has been found. 
there are 109 items that are needed just to find. So, here we need to delete the suffix of the ID attribute. Select Rejects as the match type, and then click Find HTML Item button to check the result again. See, all the items have been found. Here, we need to add an attribute for this variable. Copy the attribute, and then paste it here. Here, we need to use variable for this attribute. So click Use Variable button to assign the variable to it. Click Find HTML Item button to check the result. After set all, click Save. Here, we need to set own click for it, and then click Save. Now, let's have a test for these operations. See, all of these operations are correct. Here, we have forgotten to add a sleep action for this step before. We also let it sleep 5 seconds, and then click save. Here, also add a sleep action for these steps. Now, add a control operate action, and it is to find the sign up control. Click select control button to get the control. Here, we need to set focus for it, and then click save. Add a mouse emulation action for this control. Click select control button to get the control. Here, click set position button to get the control's top left corner coordinates. Then click here to get the control's lower right corner coordinates. After set all, click save. Now, all the variables and controls have been set up. So let's click on module button to check the result. See, this module runs successfully. That is all. Thanks for watching.